some of you may already have letters of reference from previous employment experiences. If you do, then include that. Pass you mark on it, otherwise you, get, you will not get a credit. This is one, and the other is the portfolio. The portfolio is due June 5th. We have less flexibility. My name is Kevin, I have my co-op at Ram Productions. We build uh, sets and displays for all kinds of marketing initiatives and, and, and trade shows and, and stuff. So we're we really do kind of dabble in, in a lot of different materials. Everything from from wide format digital printing, uh, acrylics, foam PVC. Uh, we have a CNC machine that we use to cut um, a vast majority of the pieces uh, that go into these uh, uh, displays that we build. Uh, we do some welding, aluminum, uh, metal. Um, so it's a it's a real uh, wide array. Of, uh, of skill sets that we that we uh, utilize here, and it kind of gives the co-op students a good uh, uh, overall view of of just different facets of of uh, the production. Uh, we uh, enjoy uh, enjoy the co-op students. Uh, they're usually uh, quite willing to uh, to learn, and, uh, and we we enjoy teaching them uh, new skills. And our shop is a little bit different as we kind of we we do. We do a lot of different things, so it's it's, it's nice exposure for them to uh, to be uh, you know exposed to wood and acrylics and you know some welding and and all that kind of stuff as well. So yeah, in our shop uh, we utilize uh, our co-op students uh, in, in all aspects of, of our builds. Um, we also do in installations and teardowns for the events that we build for, and we have brought co-op students along with us uh, to give them that kind of first-hand knowledge as well. Um, because working in the shop environment is one thing, but working outside uh, with limited tools and, and you know high stress situations, um, you know it's, it's good uh, experience for them to have as well. No, I do not get paid for my co-op. I work three hours a day for logged hours, and then sometimes I get hired after hours or on weekends to help out. Uh, my favorite project has to be the Rona show we did a couple months ago. Um, I got to go with them to Toronto to help set up, and I got to see all the installation. It was really cool. I find that I do learn a lot more here than in school because instead of listening to somebody talk or doing paperwork, it's actually hands-on experience that you get to do things. So I find that uh, a lot of people learn a lot better that way. Some of the equipment I've got to use are uh, a lot of tools, a table saw, a miter saw, hand tools. Um, I don't use this tool but I get, to, I get to spot for the forklift to make sure it doesn't run into anything. So I was going originally going to go to Crown Electronic. Um, I had an interview there but I didn't get the job which I'm kind of glad I did now. And then my teacher recommended this to me. And because I had the interview experience from the first one that I didn't get, this one went a lot better. Yes, if you do a co-op, your teacher will help you find a, uh, an interview, and that, but it's up to you to, get, to go to the interview and try to get the job. One thing I learned at co-op is um, dealing with some customers. Like There's just one customer that comes in every week without fail and I'm never going to understand why he has so many issues with his computer, he doesn't really do much on it. Patience is a very big thing here, and it's very hard to learn. Back in October, November-ish, Mr. Bergsma called, sent me into his office and uh, kind of talked about where I'd want to do a call and I wanted to do it at a future shop or a computer store, and then he kind of remembered that there's this store here, so I got the phone number and uh, we called Jeff and he seemed perfectly okay with it. Uh, in order to get this co-op, I sort of had an interview. I came in here about a week after I first called the place and Jeff wasn't in and there was a guy, Blake, here. And he just kind of asked me a bunch of questions about simple hardware. I answered them all correctly and then uh, I was told I got the placement. And then I just kind of had to come back in in February for just the actual co-op process. and. It was just a, actually it was more like Jeff and I talking for a few minutes than an actual interview. I have been paid a couple of times for staying beyond our co-ops. There have been a couple of days where I've stayed here from open until close. Well, I already have my career planned out, but a definite backup career would be def working with computers like this. You get two out of the school, you learn some awesome things, you learn new people, um, and every once in a while you get to you, you get to meet old friends and you meet new ones, so it's always a good experience to I would highly recommend it to any co-op student. Uh, in my co-op, I've had uh, countless times that I've come up with problems. Um, this entire co-op is a big problem-solving place, and uh, 
you have to use your own knowledge, the process of elimination. Sometimes you have to resort to using Google or asking your supervisor. I work two, between two and five hours a day and I'm going to get two high school credits for this course. Actually, I started here as a co-op student and I, after my placement was done, I was hired full time. Um, I've been here for 10 years or so and took it over about six years ago now. So. Um, Having co-op students here, it's like how I started. I like to train them and um, afterwards, if they're good enough, then I'll hire them on. I would uh, recommend any business to take on co-op students. I'm William Smallman. I work at Flagro Industries. We make commercial barbecues and industrial heaters. I became experienced with multiple machines. One of them is like a shear, which is, which is used to cut pieces of metal. I've also used uh, an industrial laser, it's used to cut metal, uh, just like the shear, but it's for more complex shapes. If a friend of mine was thinking about going into co-op, I'd probably recommend like, you know, going into somewhere where you think you might like, because first of all, it lets you, uh, like it opens up your eyes to what field you want to go into. Like say you w think you want to go into manufacturing, but then when you go there you find out that it's a lot of repetitive tasks and the work environment isn't quite what you're interested in. It's also useful for actually gaining experience for when it does come time to getting a job, you'll already have like prior experience. What most surprised me was uh, the amount of hours you have to stand on your feet. Up, uh, oftentimes it's like a total of four hours on my feet. When I work the full days, which is a nine hour day, it's eight hours on my feet. And also you, your hands go through a lot because you have to move all this metal. During a half day shift, I, I go through up to 400 pieces of metal. Thanks to this co-op, I'm getting three credits. Uh, that's uh, uh, at least over 330 hours. This co-op has uh, helped me with my other schoolwork. It's taught me how to uh, like manage my tasks. It's taught me how, much, how great school is, you know. We make construction heaters and Barbecues. Our main, our main seller are construction heaters. We sell them to rental companies and individuals as well. The, the, anybody in the, out there can buy them, but mostly rental companies, Battlefield, uh, uh, Stevenson's Rental, those kinds of things. And then and when our off season, during the winter we do heaters, but in the off season we do barbecues. A commercial barbecues, all stainless. I mean, it's nice to have an extra set of hands. I do it myself because I, I like giving the kids an opportunity to see what it's like inside of a, in a, in a fully functioning shop that has just about everything there is you need for manufacturing. Because we, we as a company, we get it in as raw steel and it leaves as a heater or a part or whatever it may be, but we do everything, all our fabricating ourselves. If you're wanting to get into the manufacturing field as a, as a kid, uh, it's, it's kind of a little bit of everything in here for them to try out and see what they think of it. I've been pretty lucky so far. I've only had two, but they're great, uh, great kids, and uh, uh, it's been a very good experience for uh, for me and as well as Flagro for for, the, for our co-op. If you're thinking of going into like the manufacturing field, or if you just want to experiment with any type of job, I definitely recommend co-op. Like this has opened up my eyes. I pretty much figured out what I want to do with my life thanks to it. What do you want to do with your life? I want to fix engines. I'd like to thank uh, Ian and Rob, my supervisor and the owner of Flagro for presenting me with this opportunity. I'd also like to thank uh, my co-op teachers, Mr. Bergsma, Mr. Friesen and Ms. Lynette for uh, supporting me through this. I'm Sandy Latimer from Port Plaza Shoppers Drug Mart. I've been with the company for over 33 years and am managing for 15 years now. The students that do well here really want to be here. It's just not a placement. Steph is a prime example. She was a perfect fit for our department. There happened to be a, a position that popped up. My entire staff just wanted Steph to be hired. They all came to me and said, we need to hire staff. So Steph really had a great work ethic. She always gave her all to this department. And now she's learning the art of selling. We benefit from the co-op program because we get to choose and we get to interview all the candidates. For those of you that are looking for a co-op, placement at Shoppers Drug Mart. These are some of the things that we'll be looking at. What are you wearing? Is it presentable for the position? Able to speak and ask questions when needed? 
Able to take initiative? Are you reliable? On time? Do you have a good attitude? That's what we're looking for. Hi, I'm Steph. I am a co-op student at Shoppers Drug Mart and I've been here for a few months now and now I'm hired so I actually work here. <laughs> You're not just putting makeup on people all day every day. It's a lot more than that. You, on your free time, you're either straightening stuff up, you're putting stock out. It's a lot deeper than what you think it is. <laughs> like what you're doing. Don't go somewhere thinking you're getting a job out of it. Go somewhere where you know you like what you're doing and you have the same interests as the people that you're working with because it makes you a lot more comfortable and being comfortable and being good at what you're doing can obviously land you a job. <laughs> being here, you're not just getting there's a little bit of everything. You get to see how the management works as well and different types of like application and you can go to schooling for it so then you see what's in it. It's not just the basic. You can see the wide range of everything. Because of the time I've spent here, I've now earned three high school credits. Like there's a lot of stuff here and obviously you don't know everything about everything and the girls that I work with are, I'm really fortunate, they're all really good people and are really helpful when you have questions and they're always here for you. I can now see myself working in the beauty industry. Yay! <laughs> Steph, you've been amazing, you've done a great job. The girls all think of you as part of the team so I just really want to congratulate for you doing such a great job while you're in that co-op and Thanks for being here, and now you're part of the team. Yeah.